Hey guys, VBAD here with another V Plays, and we're taking out an aircraft that we don't see too often. It's going to be the XP-75, mostly because people look at this plane and they go, why? What, why? what is the point of this thing? It's got 10 50 cal machine guns, but they're 50 cal machine guns. Why would I get this thing when there's so many other Tier 7 and Tier A premiums out there that are way better? And I thought the same thing, but this is fun. I like this plane. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Oh, he wants to go radar dishes first. Uh, that's a bad move. I'm going to F2 that, but I'm going to head over here. Uh, don't send the bomb. Okay, look. Standard rules, guys. The mines win battles. Uh, it's good to get the command center, but I can do this on my own. I don't really need to send two ground attackers to this site. It's a bit of a waste. Uh, I understand. Not everybody understands my methods but I tend to have the best results from it so this aircraft has 10 50 cal machine guns and it can do some pretty decent work we're only a little bit under 500 damage per second on this but it has the maneuverability of a multi roll we're actually able to get like around 12 seconds and some change and as you can see it just has a ton of power when you can really lock in on a target and it's great for intercepting Lorax is uh, I get what he's trying to do here, but I disagree. Um, locking in on like a bomber or something, this thing is great for that. Uh, let's dive on the 55. Yeah, he got away. Whoa, looks like the 55 got killed. Let's lock in on this ground attacker. There's that sustained damage we were talking about. What is this thing? Is it going to be a... I think it's a Focke Wolf. We could probably actually outturn a Focke Wolf if that's what it is. Let's check. Yeah, it is. But it's okay. He's broken off. Let's go interrupt their mine. Oh, it looks like our my, our guys are doing it already. Sweet. Um, B-17 should be a good target for us. I wish my boost was still up. Doe, th Doe 217 will be good, too. But we're on a slow climb. We're at decent speed. I'm kind of going to tap the boost to maintain above 350 a little bit. Come on. Are we in range? We're pretty much in range. Let's get him at, at him from underneath. He's pretty much going to be really slow. So once we're underneath him, we can just lock in and look at those 50 cals go. Sustained damage for the win. We are running gas-operated action. Kind of expected to get something knocked out on our platform here. Not the best altitude performance, but not bad. Slowing down to lock in on this target, and we're really slowing their capture down now. Bombs are still trying to come back. Our ground attackers and bombers are working on those sites. That's good. As a bomber player, I would think you would want to get the mines over getting the command center because then it's kind of giving you targets to go after consistently. Like you'll it'll it'll make sense for like giving you more to do. Ah, again, I. You're going to put an aircraft in that's going to just compete for what you're trying to do. You're trying to kill ground targets, and there's this guy coming in. We got good maneuver. We, we have very good maneuverability with this platform, and we can outperform this F7F all day. Thank you for the middle. Is that a human? Yeah, it is. Old move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Oh. We lost our tail here, so we're going to have to rely on some maneuverability. I uh, might have turned too early here. Maybe? Yeah, he's burned out. That's good. We lucked out. P-51A was here. See, like... The bomber flights essentially took the job from our own bomber pilot. What you gonna do? We're gonna head over here to their command center. 
that's the only target that makes any sense right now. I could go stop those bombers, but at this point, this battle's essentially won because we have the mines. Look at it. It just ticked. We just rolled over on one, and we're going to roll over on the next shortly. I see you, Typhoon. Now, he can outturn me. I got like 12 seconds and some change turn time. But this guy has got like close to 10 seconds. There we go. There's them 50s going to work. Enough maneuverability to stick with these guys when they're up at high altitude at low speed. And we will light people on fire like you wouldn't believe. We'll just rip them up. Get off my buddy. Get out of the blast radius. Now we just need to kill that one plane. We just picked up the McGuire. Is he still around? Okay, good. Hey friend. You may have 30s, but I got volume of fire. Four of the 50 cals are mounted wrapped around the nose. That's kind of that plus sign we see right there. And then six 50s in the wings. So there's a lot of bullets coming out of this thing. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, support will not be available. Yeah, always a better option to go after. An enemy aircraft is worth 60 opposed to 40 capture points. And like I said, I can outmaneuver. I can outmaneuver him. Nice. Yeah, 13k. Not too bad. Got Conqueror as well, and we picked up the Flying Fighter badge. Number one on the team. And since it is a premium aircraft, we should be raking in a decent amount of credits. It's not a ton. I have mentioned this before, that the disparity between the credit incomes between a tier 7 premium and a tier 8 premium is enough that it's worth like the couple extra bucks if you are to spend real money on this game to pick up the tier 8. I just don't really understand the economy of why you'd want to grab a tier 7 premium, especially since there's so many great tier 8 premiums that are out there. But that's an argument for another time. We're really just talking about the XP-75. This was gifted to me a while back, and I really have enjoyed it. I wasn't expecting to ever pick it up. Uh, and they also gifted it to Postal Monkey as well. And him and I have a ball when we take these things out because it turned out to be a pretty decent platform, especially flown in pairs, because before the P-82 Bravo existed... This thing had the most machine guns on one aircraft, so between the two of us, we could get 20 machine guns on target that just shredded aircraft. It felt really good. Uh, and of course we lit lots of fires. I have a feeling we're not going to get the end game results, so I apologize for that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a look at the XP-75 Eagle. I, again, I think it can be fun, but there's far better versions of that air of a tier seven premium aircraft or even a tier eight premium as well this is just going to be one of those uh good time planes so i hope you guys enjoyed and as always i'll catch you on the next one